This is the natural habitat of Sylvia Wilson. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? See where you are. Ah, yes. Bikini bottom. <laughs> Do it. Happy birthday, Sylvia. Okay, so you know who I am. Um, this is basically a documentary on your life. Being best friends with you has been a crazy ride, but throughout all of it, one thing I know is, is that you are an amazing person. And although you don't speak on it much, I really want to shed light on the fact that you are such an, an influential person in so many people's lives. So, in order to kind of tell you that or show you that I've put this together um, including Shariah and it's basically to show you how even though you can be stubborn and mean and hurt a lot of feelings with just a look you are an amazing person to the people you love and those who have gotten to get close to you those who have had the chance to really get to know you appreciate that and not only ha has it just been in the past few months or days or years it's been throughout your entire life so I hope you enjoy this and I hope you realize that by the end of it, you are one amazing girl and you've done so much for the people around you. I love you and I'll be saying, the, I'll be, I open and close this so you'll see me at the end. But I just want you to know, I love you, I love you, I love you and I hope you enjoy. Okay, sit back, relax, enjoy your movie. I want to say uh, Sylvia encountered a lot of adversity um, even before she was born. Uh, when I was three months, I was told that she was going to have spinal bifida, which is where your spine grows outside of your back or something, and that she'd have Down syndrome. And back in those days, you know, it wasn't um, pro-life as much, so I was asked twice to terminate the pregnancy. The doctor said, you really need to consider it. And so I had no, no um, consideration whatsoever about ever doing that. Um, I was scared in going forward, but I was determined to go forward because I was told that I couldn't have um, children. Um, so the odds were against her. And then when she was born, she was four pounds, two ounces. And I was just terrified because I didn't even get to see her when she was born. And so um, she was rushed to emergency NICU. And I was just so distraught. I was like, oh, I'm a horrible mom. And there was this nurse that came into the my room because I hadn't seen Sylvia in a week. And she was yelling at me. She was like, get up, get up, go see your daughter. I was like, I'm a horrible mom, oh, I can't. And she was rude. And so she kept screaming at me. And I was like, you know what, what's your name? You know, but I did get up. I went and saw her. I saw that she was perfect. I saw that the nurses did not want her to go home because they were attached to her. She was this yellow, tiny, four pound baby with a bunch of hair. And the doctor said, the only thing that she really needs that you can't, provide like right this minute is a brush. <laughs> so anyway, I went to complain about the nurse. Um, she was a really tall um, black lady and the people at the desk told me there is no one. All the nurses on this station at this time are Caucasian and everybody's under 5'6". So we don't know. They even brought the nurses into my room and lined them up. They were like, these are only the only nurses that have ever been on this floor. So I still don't know who that nurse was that came in and yelled at me, but she got me out of bed. You know, and I guess she said what she needed to say, so I always called her the angel. She's nice, funny, sweet, and kind. All right, I love Sylvia so much, cause that thing be dunky, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this nigga, and she taught me how to squat. I love Sylvia because she is a great friend, she's very funny, she always knows what to, what to say, 
She's just an all around good person. I'm so glad I got to meet her. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sylvie because she's just the, she's a great person. And I know, you know, I know she's going to have my back no matter what. You get what I'm saying? And that's my best friend. I mean, I love everything about her. You're like legit one of the realest girls I know, like, in my whole life. Like, you don't have no filter. You're not afraid to say what's on your mind. You're like the Pam to my Martin. So, yeah. Happy birthday. Sylvia, I love you. And I love you because I've been knowing you since you were this big. This big. And you're beautiful, you're talented, you're sweet, and you're just like one of my kids. So, no matter how old you get, you're still gonna be one of my kids. I love you forever. And you are important to me. Happy birthday, baby girl. I love you so much. We've been together since elementary school and going steady since then. And I love you forever and always. We'll be here for you. Happy birthday, babe. What's up, Seals? You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? You mean a lot to me. Uh, I wish you a good one. You was always there for me when I need somebody to talk to. I really appreciate that. Good looking. Love you, girl. Don't change for no one. Continue to do what you do because that's the reason why everybody in the world loves you. Well, almost everyone, you know, because you be on Twitter wilding with these females, you know, it ain't about it. But. Um, I love you, baby girl. I hope you had a good birthday. You are an amazing person. You mean so much to me. Love you. Happy birthday, Seals. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I want you to know that I love you so much. And you're like a little sister to me. I would do anything for you. And you know, I'm always here for you because you're always there for me. You're an amazing person. Don't let anyone tell you different. I love you. Keep your head up and stay positive. Seals and I have had our ups and downs since elementary school. But at the end of the day, we always bounce right back. It never failed. I will always have her back, and I really appreciate everything that she does for me. I know she's beautiful inside and out, regardless of who else sees it. I love you, Sylvia. Hey, Sylvia. Happy birthday. We're so proud of you with all your accomplishments. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, though, my true love. Oh, man. Happy birthday. No more mailboxes. No more trees. No more slashing of the top. No more getting your tires slashed, okay? But I love you. <laughs> love you too. So, with all that being said, and everything that you've learned about yourself and why people love you, understand that at the end of the day, if no one else is there for you, I am. Why do I love Sylvia? I love you because you are beautiful inside and out. You've gone through so much and yet you still stand so strong. And throughout, at the end of the day, you are still the only person who I know truly understands me in and out. And we'll have our ups and downs and in and outs, but at the end of the day, I will never let you go as I easily let other people go. Because you are stubborn, and you are hard to get along with, and you are stubborn. But at the end of the day, you're my other half. You're my soulmate, and well, my best friend's soulmate. And I don't know where I'd be without you. You say I always, you know, hold you together, but you're who gets me through the day. And I don't know where I'd be without you. So, happy birthday. Try not to cry again. Happy birthday, and I really hope it's a great one for you. If this, if this movie doesn't get done when I want it to, hopefully it does. But if it doesn't, just know that I love you. The people who helped put this together love you. And no matter what, you have the biggest support system. Bigger than you know. All right. Happy birthday, babe. Mwah. I'll never forget you. I'll always remember how you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let the record reflect.
The records we set, best foot forward with every step And let's push towards it, never regress And let's remember, if ever we get down The places that we came from round And all the good times on the bad side of town The upside of bad, flip it upside down Came from the bottom, but we up high now Believe, and from this view we achieved We look back at the rules we received And how we broke those, dismantled and rewrote those And the ghost still alive in the photos Sounds of the summer, didn't go wise Cold wind blowing through a city on fire Moments of the past came here to find you Not to relive them, just to remind you Take me to that old familiar place Take me to memories we won't erase Take me to all that we had Good and the bright I'll never forget you I'll never let you go I'll never forget So bright, it's never been more, not like tonight. We walk into the glow, rain to the light, the past all around us, the time of our life. The first love kisses, the broke hard disses. This is just like a first class ticket. Back to the first written rap, the crumbled up in the pit with no cap. The hand me down clothes and the unturned hat. The hookers on the corner and the kids selling crack. The needles in the yard where we used to play catch. Stories from the I'm recording. Recording what? You. Why you can't see me? Yes, huh? No, you can't. I just took my bra off. <laughs> <laughs> I got go to sleep. Me. I am going to sleep. What you doing? You thought, cannot see me. I thought my camera would pick up. <laughs> you, oh, you thought the flash was just gonna come on? <laughs> yeah, you know this one. It didn't come on. I swear to God, if that flash comes on <laughs> my face. <laughs> A two. These are shades of my youth, trials of a child, everything truth, moments of the past, coming back to find us, not to relive them, just to remind us. Take me to